Do not take advantage of each other. But fear your God. I am the Lord your God. Do not use your powerful position to extort from your fellow men. Be fair. Look at our banking system. Look at the entire system. So what we say to the youngsters, we want you to be educated. And what do we do? We turn our youngsters into slaves because they cannot possibly afford the school and universities. They're too expensive. So what we are doing in our devilish, wicked evil from the pit of hell system, we are making sure that the next generation is another generation of slaves. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And the kids are working for 20 years just to pay off the first debt. And now they have another one and they will be working for the rest of their lives just to have a roof over their heads. Is that not crazy? And somehow we are okay with that. And somehow we say, well, that's a first system. No, it's not. According to the word of God, it's not. Verse 23, the land must not be sold permanently because the land is mine. Ha! Imagine that. Have you ever read that? Because I think the politicians have never read the Bible. I think majority of the pastors have never read the Bible. It whose is this land? It belongs to the natives? It belongs to the white? The blacks, the yellows, the green? No, it belongs to God. The land is mine and you reside in my land as foreigners and strangers. If one of your fellow Israelites becomes poor, and sell some of their property, you must knock them even harder, put them to ashes and steal everything that they have left, including their shoes. Is that what it says? Because that's how it feels with this evil, wicked government that we have. That you get poorer and instead of them lifting you up, they finish you off.